like uh, yeah, he got you, he, yeah, he got stopped for like a seatbelt thing or something like that, and they arrested him and put him in jail for like seven hours, and yeah, it was something silly like a seatbelt thing. Forget and, versus city of Tampa. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then he, he got like a twenty four thousand dollar judgment, so that works out to like one point two million dollars a day or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that case. Yeah, but like I said, that's just a guideline that attorneys right. have to use guideline because it's nice. Well, an attorney could only propose orders. So when they want to propose something, they have to base it upon something that somebody who came before them. They can't base it upon their beliefs because an attorney doesn't have a belief. But what he can use is he can use beliefs of somebody superior to him, which is called a guy in a black robe or a judge. He can, use, well, he can believe in history. And he, he can only show history, history, right? he can, No, he can only show what has happened in the past and why his case should be based upon the, the, the rulings of the past. He's not, he's not about the, he's not a black. Law, right? You're talking civil law. I'm talking whatever law, any, what I'm saying is, she's lawyers who like, we're talking about this lawsuit. I'm not going all over the map. I'm going over this Tampa case and why people use the Tampa case. Now, the people that use the Tampa case are lawyers. I'm right. a man. It's I, 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 I'm a man, and if I'm Donald Trump, $24,000 or a million dollars for putting me in jail for a day is chump change. Donald Trump is going to ask for a billion. So right, obviously, okay, he's, yeah, not going to, he's, right. not going, okay. he's not going to use that Tampa case. That because he doesn't buy is, is different. Right. Right. For, him, for him, right. for him to buy lunch is more than $24,000 for a lunch. So he's certainly not going to let Tampa get away with $24,000. He's much larger than life, that's for sure. He's going to believe that he is, and the jury's going to believe that he is. But if it's based upon statutes or case law, the judge won't believe that he is. The judge is going to treat him equal. And the judge is going to say no. The judge is going to say no. The law dictates that when the city puts you in jail, the most that you could claim for compensation is $10,000 an hour. I'm sorry, Donald Trump, but that's all I could give you. That's all I could award because that's all the law allows me to do. It's black and white, and I have to execute and carry out to the letter of the law. I'm a guy in a black robe. Now, if you want a billion dollars, go get a jury. They'll award you. They'll award you fucking half the planet if you ask them to. The jury's right, crazy. But then... The jury can make it up as they go along. The judge is bound by the letter of the law. But why is it that what the jury says doesn't go anymore? Of course it goes. It doesn't. Uh, did O.J. Simpson walk out of, after, after executing two people and chopping off their heads? Yeah. The jury all said, that there's a little old black lady who's on that, on that O.J. Simpson trial. Are you trial. sure he did that? There's a little old black lady on the O.J. Simpson trial. She's like 60 years old. Right, class, she knew the right, law. She little, and she said, we all knew that he ripped those poor people's heads off. We all knew within 30 days that this guy was guilty as sin. We all knew that he did it. Marsha Clark waited a year and a half of all time because the proof that he murdered these people in the first degree, she needed a murder weapon and she needed an eyewitness. And Marsha Clark wasted a year trying to find a murder weapon. She wasted a year of our life trying to find an eyewitness. So she finally had to give up. She finally had to give up trying to find an eyewitness or a murder weapon. So we all knew he was guilty within the first 30 days. But we knew she would never be able to prove the four critical elements in murder in the first degree. Now, if she went for manslaughter, she could have won. The little old lady was that smart. So she was like, now I'm going to go back home and watch The Price is Right for the rest of my life. I'm done. I did my jury duty. I'm going home. So just because she might just be a little old black lady who just watches Price is Right her whole entire life, she wasn't stupid. She said we all knew he was guilty of sin, but they told us there's four elements to a murder one, and that she's missing the murder weapon, and she's missing the eyewitness. Now, do you have the motive? Yes, absolutely. Do you have the dead bodies? Well, absolutely. Now, there's four elements, the murder weapon and the eyewitness. She's missing the murder weapon because a lightning bolt could have discombobulated these people's heads for all we know. Because OJ says he doesn't know because he wasn't there. So he doesn't know why their heads fell off their bodies. Maybe a space alien did it. <laughs> it's like as good as answer as anybody else. Does anybody have an eyewitness to prove that he did it? No. Well, there you go. Got to let him go. Just like I heard this uh, talk show host in Atlanta 
when I got on his show, he was, he was a black guy screaming up and down, oh, it's not fair, they're going to execute this black guy in Texas. The DNA clearly indicates that he didn't do this crime 20 years ago when they're still going to carry it out. I was like, uh, dude. Yeah, I, I said, dude, that's DNA is circumstantial evidence. It's not, it's like, only oh, one guy ever controlling could have the same blood type and it conclusively proves that it wasn't him. I said, well, if you watch the O.J. Simpson trial, Marsha Clark tried the same stunt with O.J. to try to hang O.J., but it didn't work. Because O.J.'s attorney said, hey, has somebody been had the transfer of custody, have they had it in their possession 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365, and they could come to court and open court on the false affirmation and say, O.J. Simpson's blood sample has stayed with me for these entire 16 months prior to the trial. Can anybody come to court and swear that the, that the, the chain of custody has not been broken? Has anybody taken their eyes off of that blood sample? It's like, well, yeah, we all went home for Christmas, we all went home for New Year's Eve, we all went home for Easter. So, could have somebody went in there like that evil uh, chief of police, whatever his name was, could have he came in there because he hates black people, could have he came in there and could have he switched the bottles around? Does he have access to that? Well, yes, he does. And he told the racist joke one time, so see, he's out to kill OJ. And they're like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> but the jury is like, look, they said, all that bullshit in court, we didn't care. And within 30 days, we all knew he did it. But Marshall Clark was missing the eyewitness and the murder weapon. We had to let him go. So they That's said we just... the helicopter case. She was just, it was just stalling. She was just, she was just stalling for time, hoping that O.J. would crack, or O.J. would have taken a witness stand, or the murder weapon would have showed up, or an eyewitness would have showed up. 